Hello, my name is Nadine Wilde Palmer and I'm a children's writer, presenter, author, voice artist, poet, you name it and I can probably do it, which means you can too. And today I'm here to talk to you about the winners of English with Holly's back to school poetry competition. Um, it took place at the end of the summer and uh, ended at the end of September and we finally selected the winner. So well done to everyone who took part. I know it was an extremely difficult job for the judges to choose. So let's give everyone who took part a round of applause. One way and the other, why not? And we'll kick off with the poem that came in second place and that was called Going Back to Homeschool and it's by Alice A. Joubert. Let's perform some poetry. Going back to school, though you may think not, I think it's very cool. I started this way of schooling in year five. It keeps your soul alive. Away from the battle cries of the bullies in my chosen DT, I learned about levers and pulleys. In a really normal school, you would get so bored doing everything to your teacher's accord. But now I can choose my lessons as long as it's key stages too. It is and isn't sociable. I can go places with you. I can choose my lunch and it's very nice to munch. You can book a plane, a taxi or a train and whisk me away to a place I never knew. Although my feet keep growing, I need another shoe. I can go anywhere and do anything I want. We can go to a French place and have a croissant. I can go to clubs and Never be late. My dog keeps growing. She needs a bigger crate. So homeschool is fun, but I still remember the races I won. When I went to normal school with people passing by. I'm going back to homeschool. Why don't you give it a try? Thank you, Alice. That was brilliant. It was wonderful to hear about your experience of homeschooling and what it's like for you. So thank you so much for sharing those wonderful words and the super sentences that you strung together to create such a powerful poem. So massive a round of applause for you. Um, and next up is First Place and the poem is called Back to School and it's by Sophie Agman Smith. The school bell rings, the gate swings open, the pupils start filing in. The six week summer break is over and we're back to school again. First to arrive are the year sevens, their first day here of many. They look around for someone familiar, nervous faces plenty. Following after the older students in years eight, nine, ten, confident they've been here before and they'll be here again. Next to enter are the elevens, looking tired and bored already. A busy year of exams for them, and as for rests, not many. Then come in the six formers, waiting for school to begin. Out of place in their suits and dresses, too old, they no longer fit in. Finally come the year 13, some final exams to pass. One last year of doing what they're told. They'll be done with school at last. I wait for the second school bell's ring. I'm not ready to go in either. It's even worse because I'm also new. I'm the school's head teacher. Thank you, Sophie. That was excellent. And that's our first prize and winner uh, for English with Holly's poetry composition, which will be back again next year. So get your thinking caps on now. There's plenty of time to practice poetry in the meantime. 
um, so that you're ready for next year's competition. And once again, thank you to all of the judges, to Holly herself for having me and to all of the students um, and children that took part. You're wonderful. Have a happy week.